Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, so in this problem we're trying to find what x is, and it's a base over here on the right side, something to the third power that equals 4 to the third times 5 to the third. And there is a law of exponents that helps us solve this extremely quickly. We'll finish with that, but first, you know, I want to remind you that you don't need to memorize anything with the laws of exponents. A lot of students see these charts and get stressed out. I have to memorize all these rules. What am I going to do? Well, you don't need to memorize anything because if you just play with these numbers, you'll see very quickly that um, a pattern emerges. So let's just play with this for a second. We have 4 times 4 times 4, parentheses because they're grouped by exponents first, times 5 times 5 times 5. And those are also grouped first. Well, I notice I'm multiplying everything so I can regroup in any way that I want and reorder in any way I want. I can associate and commute without changing our answers. So um, here I'm going to notice that every pair of 4 and 5, right, because we had to get three pairs in the end. There was something to the third. We can pair these two, these two, and these two. So let's reorder them, put them next to each other. 4 times 5, parentheses, times 4 times 5. I don't need these parentheses, but I'm grouping in that way to help look for a pattern. Right, we're multiplying those three. So something to the third power, as we're trying to find, now we have three things being multiplied. So that something is 4 times 5, or 20, to the third power. So x is 20. Now again, all I saw was that I needed something to the third power. So I knew something to the third power is a single number multiplied by itself three times. Or multiplied out three times, excuse me. So in these six numbers, I found three pairs. And then so that pair is equal to 4 times 5, because we're multiplying. We're not adding here, we're multiplying. Now the shortcut is that if your exponents are the same as they are here, all, when you're, and you're multiplying, you can just multiply the bases straight away. 4 times 5 is 20. And again, that's not a rule you have to memorize. You can see why it makes sense right here as soon as you begin to shift these numbers around. Thanks.